everyone welcome back to my channel i uh just figured that i would do another video it's kind of like a sit down talk to talk kind of video um i have been feeling like i am in a such weird transition where i am still a single agent but i'm doing a lot of work and i don't have a system and plan so i want to share with you guys like two stories i usually talk to my parents every saturday so two weeks back my dad called me saying that my grandpa is in the hospital and i know my grandpa has been sick for months and um like when i went back to china in february i saw him too so i know he's not like in a good health state so I know that my dad, every time when we brought the conversation up, he kind of wanted me to go back, but then he will start to talk to himself like, oh, you shouldn't come back, you're busy, I know you're busy, you have a lot of things going on. And then last week when I talked to him, I asked him, I said, if you want me to buy a plane ticket, I will. I can come back even though I have a lot of things going on, I have listings, I have a settlement, but I can come back for like four days, like it will probably take me you know two full days and then stay there for three days and then he just doesn't think that it's, it's a good idea and then he thinks it's gonna cost money so I end up not going back and like a few days ago my mom texted me said that my grandpa passed away and I just I just feel like if I would you know like have a team or have a system in plan like I can definitely make the decision to like go back um, but because you know my business has just been like taken off so it's like it's really hard like for me to leave here and go home and especially especially like I'm from so far away and it takes like 14 hours to fly back to China so you know obviously that couldn't happen and I know that happened to a lot of you guys too like you have other priorities but then you're in this weird transition that you have to be 100 percent focused you don't have the free time to do other things or you don't have the money to do other things sorry you guys i had to take a little break but um so what i was saying the second story that i have was a while back i got a referral from an agent in another state in nashville she found me online and um, her client, their kids are actually going to UPenn, so they're trying to buy a property for uh, both of their kids to live in the property while they go to school. So um, the family is has an Asian background, so they feel more comfortable working with an um, Asian realtor. And she just looked up Asian realtor, a Chinese realtor in philadelphia and she found my information so she gave me a call and that whole weekend i was just being answering her emails and text information and just kind of co cooperate with like what they need things that they want to find out about philadelphia so the mom flew in the next tuesday so we were able to see three properties and then we put um, a offer on one property and negotiated five thousand over um, at, off asking price so i was able to find them the house that they wanted and everybody was so happy they went back to nashville so after about 30 days because they were paying cash so they came back and we were at a closing table um it was everything was just so smooth so we closed the deal everything's fine and then by the time they walked into the property there's an issue because it's a new construction property the builder did not claim the property before um, they like they just didn't clean the property so there's paint everywhere it was a little dusty so what happened is she gave me a call and she was really upset and I reached back out at the builder, so I don't know if you guys have experience with handling new construction um, buildings. Sometimes it's like a different department, people just are very hard to reach to. Um, so it was the weekend, nobody was answering the phone call, so I'm like, okay, fine. I just want my client happy, let me just, you know, hire a cleaning service company to, to just solve the problem. So I found them a cleaning company, I paid everything. And the scheduling was a little hectic because 
they had a, the cleaning company had to contact me in order to reach to um, the my buyer and then I had to go reach out my buyer and my buyer had to reach out to his son so afterwards so I was contacting the son but the son was a, has a really busy schedule because he's a, going to med school so this whole scheduling thing was just such a stress for me thing and the son said everything is fine but then when the cleaning company came back to me she called me back and then she sent me pictures saying that it's not okay because they're still paying on the floor so it's like you know they wanted to be perfect and I want to try to give them the perfect but then I didn't do I, I couldn't just you know I just couldn't it just seems like it's impossible to make every party happy so I was dealing with like a lot of like other clients as well at the same time so it's like the whole situation was very unorganized and it I don't know how to feel it just makes me feel not great I feel like I put the maximum effort and I feel like somehow it's still not perfect so I know this video is like super long and emotional and um but that's the real that's the reality guys so I just want you guys to know what to expect but anyways I will be fine. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. And um, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.